Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. So we are having pizza night for dinner tonight. In my freezer, I have these two flatbreads from Aldi. So we're using that and then um, we're putting different things on our pizza. So Howard is going to be using the habanero cheese and mozzarella. I am going to be using mozzarella and I had some leftover Swiss and Gruyere blend in the fridge, so I'm gonna be using that. We've got pepperoni. In my freezer, I have half a pound of Italian sausage. Also got some red onion. As far as seasonings on top of the pizza, we've got Italian seasoning, garlic herb, and then we've got our pizza sauce. Howard is also going to be using red pepper as well. Okay, here is my flatbread. I wanted a crispy crust, so I baked mine directly on the oven rack, and I changed my mind and did not put that Swiss cheese on there. Howard's is in the oven right now, and I'll show you his when it comes out. Okay, and here is Howard's flatbread right out of the oven. You can see those hunks of a uh, that habanero cheese too. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. So tonight I am cooking a recipe that I tried out, I don't know, maybe a year ago, maybe less than that, I can't remember. But it's a creamy chicken salsa verde and Howard and I really liked it a lot. So in my skillet I have four chicken tenderloins that I have seasoned with taco seasoning. I pulled it off the burner because it would be sizzling too loud and you wouldn't be able to hear me. But to it, I am getting ready to add in some, it's a mixture of cream cheese and salsa verde. So I'm gonna add that to the pan and then I'm gonna let it simmer. And let me scoot the camera over. And I'm gonna add the sauce. And then you're supposed to add cilantro to this. Howard is not a big cilantro fan, so I've got some fresh parsley that I'm going to use instead. So I'm just gonna cover that up. I'm just gonna let this simmer. And it's a really simple recipe, but it's so tasty. And I plan on serving it over some white rice. Okay, so here's our dinner, and it is such a quick and easy and tasty recipe. If I didn't mention it already, I'll make sure to link that recipe in the description box. Again, I'm just serving mine over some white rice, and then we are having a side of mixed greens, and these are the greens that I picked up from Trader Joe's on a recent haul. I'll link that um, video in the description box so that you guys can check it out, because I found a lot of new seasonal items um, at Trader Joe's. But anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time. For dinner tonight, we are having Zuppa Toscana. I made this for the first time. It's been several weeks ago now, but it is cold, or well, cold for us, in the 50s, and it is raining and dreary, and I thought this would be perfect, and I had everything on hand to make it. So I will link that video in the description box so you guys can have the recipe. It's a really simple recipe. So, so Zuppa Toscana is what's for dinner tonight. So we are eating from our freezer tonight. Our entire meal is from Trader Joe's and that was a coincidence. So we are having their chicken um, chow mein. It's a low fat dish and I always add something to it, some vegetable to it, just to bulk it up a little bit. And then we're also having their pork um, goiza pot stickers and I pan fried them. So this is what it looks like on the plate. To the chow mein, I added broccolini or baby broccoli, also from Trader Joe's. I picked it up on a recent haul and I'll link that video so you can check out the new items that I bought. And then here are the pan fried dumplings. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you all next time. Hey guys, so we are trying out a new Chinese restaurant for dinner tonight. Um, we got carry out, so let me show you. I got chicken fried rice, no peas or carrots. It is not looking good to me at all. It looks way overcooked and I hate mushy rice. So that's a strike. Um, here are our crunchy noodles for the hot and sour soup. The hot and sour soup looks pretty good. 
And then Howard got a, like a, a beef noodle soup. So here is the broth and then all the components come separately. So noodles and some bok choy and think some other stuff is underneath there. And then he also got a, um, I think he got a pork bun. As you can see, it's huge. We've never seen one this big before. It is a spicy pork bun. And then there are two beef egg rolls in here. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time.